Life can get really intense, huh? Yeah, especially your life. Let's see. Alien abduction. Going to a weird zoo for humans in space. And sneaking out right past a pair of intergalactic tyrants. It's nice to know we can still have peaceful days like this without any trouble. Good night, Steven. Good night, Sadie. Sadie never came home last night? <gasps> Steven, do you know what you're doing? She wouldn't have wanted this, but I do. Are you my dad? Oh my god, guys. Card never just dropped. About an hour ago, a new Steven Universe trailer for the Season 4 Finale Bomb, which we're calling the Spring Break arc, but I'm just going to call it Attack from Horror Part 2 or something. So we're gonna go by this one by one, break it down, and right off the bat, I do think this is the diamonds abducting humans from Beach City, but if you're wondering why specifically Beach City, and why now, since that would be all took place a few months ago canonically, that's because of Yellow Diamond. We've seen before, Yellow Diamond doesn't really like to do things unless she has her own interest in it. Blue Diamond wanted more humans for the zoo, but Yellow didn't really care for that. However, the Rubies! Navy got her shit back in Room for Ruby, and I thought she would come back to Earth to get Jasper, since they seem to be really persistent on getting Jasper, but I actually think she actually got the other rubies, and went to Homeworld, and then told the Diamonds, and now Yellow Diamond has her own interest in this. So, the reason why it's Beat City, the reason why it's happening now, is because Yellow Diamond is trying to both appease Blue Diamond, get her humans for the zoo so she can be happy, but also lure out Rose Quartz and make her suffer, since Eyeball is probably like, yeah, Rose Quartz is in disguise as like a human right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. This opening clip, I believe, is from Dugout, which is the episode where Doug, Steven, and Connie goes on a stakeout. Or it could also be Are You My Dad? But looking at these clips, it doesn't match up with the uh, storyboard style. So this could just be Dugout. Now this scene that shows Funland at night, I also believe that's from Dugout. And I believe Onion goes missing in Dugout. This could also be from Are You My Dad? or The Good Lars. But as we see later in the promo, Onion goes missing at Funland, he gets abducted there. So that's what leads me to believe that's also from Dugout, and Dugout is centered around finding Onion. And Onion's actually a pretty good person to go missing first because people are just gonna assume, okay, he's up to Onion things, he's gonna come back no matter how long he goes missing. So people wouldn't be that suspicious of anything going on. Sadie says, Good night, Steven. She's walking home. And the voiceover Steven says Sadie never came home last night. This has to be after or the end of the Good Lars. Or maybe even during the Good Lars, because the synopsis for the Good Lars is Sadie, Lars, and Steven go to a party with the cool kids. So that synopsis may actually be about the entire episode. And the episode actually opens up with that party. And then the rest of the episode is focused on finding Sadie, Lars is freaking gal, and that's why it's called the Good Lars. Or just be called the Good Lars because he's trying to just be a good person at that party because he wants the cool kids to like him, and they like the Good Lars that they saw in the new Lars. Now this shot of Garnet jumping and looks like an action pose actually, I believe that's from Are You My Dad? As it shares the same lighting with other scenes that wouldn't occur until that episode. Are You My Dad is the episode where Steven realizes people are missing and he's trying to solve the mystery to it. And the color scheme, the lighting, is consistent in all the scenes that would be for the episode that I'll discuss in a few minutes. Now, Connie and Steven right here. I don't believe this is from Dugout. It could be from Dugout, but I doubt it. I actually strongly believe this is from I Am My Mom. It could be, very well could be, a scene in the forest from Dugout. I'm not sure why Connie would have her sword of her, but they're obviously fighting something. And this does look like Earth, so this could either be Dugout or maybe a new part of the Human Zoo, because it doesn't look exactly like the Human Zoo. But again, what we saw of the Human Zoo could have just been one of many components. But whoever they're going up against is not a walk in the park, because we see later in the promo, Steven actually rams into a tree. So they're definitely struggling a bit. This next shot of Steven on his phone running, that's also from my dad. I believe he's trying to get in contact with either Greg or Connie, or he's panicking and just calling as many people on his phone as he can, and none of them are answering their phone, insinuating that they've all been abducted. This next one is a flyer of Onion missing. Again, I believe that's from Dugout. They're looking for Onion. And the reason why I think the opening clip is also from Dugout with Steven and Connie sitting on that bench is because it's the same border style. If you look at Onion, that's the exact same style Steven and Connie are in. 
And if memory serves, that's actually a Katie and Lamar episode. And people always complain about their big hair. And people always complain that Lamar draws a hair way too big. And we definitely see that here with Steven and Kylie sitting on the bench. This next shot of Pearl crying, I believe, is Steven turning himself in. Or she could be looking at either Connie, Greg. Some people are going to say Mystery Girl. I don't think it's Mystery Girl. I don't think she even lives in Beach City. I think she lives outside of Beach City. But Pearl is definitely looking at someone she cares about getting abducted. If it's Greg, she's losing someone she just became really good friends with after years of neglecting him. If it's Connie, she's losing her student, someone that she's established such a special bond with. And if it's Steven, she's losing Rose again, possibly for the last time. But the reason why I think it's Steven turning himself in is because this is the same episode and probably even the same scene as the clip at the end with the same color scheme, same lighting. Pearl saying, Steven, do you know what you're doing? And Steven just gives a thumbs up and then it looks like he gets abducted. Another reason why I believe Steven's turning himself in is because he says she wouldn't have wanted this but I do. Steven just wants this to stop. He doesn't want his mistakes to keep affecting other people. He doesn't want his life to put other people in danger. So his solution is turning himself in. And the gems just have to trust him on that. They can't stop him anymore. Now I'm curious if that's actually a beam of light, a ship, or as we saw earlier in the promo, the UFO attraction at Funland, is that actually modified to abduct humans? Is Homeworld getting that creative? And then Steven's going inside of that, and that's warping him to Homeworld. That should be a pretty cool twist. And now the money shot is at the end. These two silhouettes appear in front of Onion. One of them we can't really tell, but the other one is definitely a lapis lazuli. I believe this is a scene in Dugout where Onion gets kidnapped. And now I know the wings, there's like two pair of wings of just one and Lapis. Our Lapis only has one pair of wings, but none of the gems are the same. None of the rubies look alike, besides in the answer, but you can chalk that up to Steven's quote-unquote imagination. And at the very end, there's a voice that says, are you my dad? Who is that? I believe that's just a lost child or an abducted child we've never seen before, because we have not seen everyone in Beat City, and she's just looking for her dad, and then she asks Steven, are you my dad? Steven or Garnet, and that's going to hit home with Steven because he realizes how deep he's in. I can't wait for this. I really can't wait. Now, the reason why I think Garnet is like leaping into action about to, you know, body somebody is they're actually confronting that Lapis and the other gem. I do believe those gems are in disguises. That gem is probably an Amethyst or maybe it's even something like an Onyx or a Jasper. And Garnet's actually confronting them and Are You My Dad? The gems actually find them and they catch them at the right time. And then they start fighting, but then Steven's just like, wait, stop, don't do anything to them. I'm going to go to Homeworld. I'm going to end this. And then he willingly gets abducted. Steven may not actually go to Homeworld. He might just go to a ship or something, maybe like Yellow Diamond Ship, Blue Diamond Ship, and confront them. They're probably waiting for Rose Quartz to appear. Because again, the Rubies probably went back to Homeworld. was like, yeah, Rose is there on Earth. Eyeball over here, got thrown into space after trying to shatter her. Oh, this is just so exciting. And it's actually airing May 8th, so... As usual, the Zap 2 schedule was off by one week, but what can you do? I really hope this doesn't leak. I want to experience this live on TV. And I'll be organizing a Twitter trend for this bomb, like how we had Out of This World trending, but since these episodes hopefully won't leak before that, I can't do like at this time, just do hashtag blah 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 blah. We're probably just going to do hashtag CV Nerds for all of it, but more details on that soon. So, if you guys want to make a Twitter so Steven can trend during this bomb, follow me at Austric Fox and follow all these other Twitters on screen. And who do you think these gems are? Again, I think that's a Lapis. That might be a new gem next to the Lapis. But I definitely think that's a type of court soldier. I am excited. Let's get this discussion going in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, it really helps us out. Follow us on social media. Head over to Teespring, grab some roundtable merchandise. And if you're feeling generous, support us on Patreon so we can keep making awesome videos. Austric Vox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Vox Box, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.